Hey, what up, YouTube fans? I would like to talk to you about the fallen people in wrestling. And I don't think that wrestlers get enough credit for me and the celebrities that they truly are. Really, they do charity. They entertain us more than, more than Jennifer Aniston, more than Bruce Willis, and more than Tom Cruise each week. Each week. Come on, there's action figures of these guys. There's their video games. They're more celebrities than they're better than Hollywood stuntmen. They're more better actors than most people ever. So it's like when they die, they should be recognized. Like, look, we recently lost the Ultimate Warrior. We lost King Mabel. We lost Kurt Henning, and I know that the way he went out was kind of bad, but he was one of the legends. And Wade Boggs, um, one of the legendary baseball players, inducted him because they were good friends. So he was really a world-class athlete. I know wrestling's a touchy subject because of Benoit, but that's only one case. And look how much attention he got for the wrong reasons. Look at Eddie Guerrero. He never, you know, he didn't really get recognized. Look at Brian Pillman. He definitely didn't get recognized. This is a guy that was in the CFL, which was the Canadian Football League. He had, he fought throat cancer as a kid. Had throat cancer 30 times. Was six foot something. Six foot one or six feet, a little guy compared to wrestlers, and he was amazing high flyer. They call him Fine Brian Pillman. And then years later, he had a stick where he played like he was crazy and psycho, and they called him the Loose Cannon. These are guys that should be celebrated. And look at somebody like the Big Boss Man, would teach you right from wrong because he was a cop. You know, he was really a cop for real. He was a correction officer while he was trying to break into wrestling. Died at the age of 40 or 42 or something. And, you know, I guess because he was overweight. But, you know, these guys should be recognized. Look at guys like Yokozuna and stuff who died because he was overweight because he was playing a part of a sumo wrestler. I believe his name was Rod Rodney Antioku. That's The Rock's cousin. He's a Samoan. But of course, since he's not The Rock, he don't get notoriety. Not everybody could be Hulk Hogan. Even though I love Hulk Hogan, he will always be my number one. But let's be honest. Fair is fair and right is right. Not everybody could be Hulk Hogan. Not everybody could be Macho Man. Not everybody could be Bret Hart. Look at Owen Hart. He would have never got recognized if it wasn't for the fact that the tragedy that he saw, he fell 75 feet to his death. He was an amazing athlete, amazing father, amazing character. He played evil, but in reality, he was the sweetest, nicest guy. So here's my plea to the media and to Hollywood, and plus... It makes no sense for Vince McMahon to go public with his company, which it already is, and for nobody to realize the amount of talent that he has. Not everybody could be John Cena, but people recognize, recognize. And, you know, it's good enough. It's, isn't it enough that he takes over half the hours of TV each week, at least you could do is respect some of his talent, some of his fallen heroes. So that's my plea to the media world. My name is Chris Neves, and now you know what the deal is.